Wow, look at that. Anyway, that's how I open figures now. I put under and slide. I used to do that, but not anymore, man. I slide. It's got to be sharp, though. <laughs> Alrighty, so I've got him set up. I've got some thoughts on this one. It's only one Kenobi here, only one. Forgot to show you the card back on the last video. This is 269, I presume 268. I've got the package in here if you want to see it. Hang on. It will be the same. Yeah, look at that. See, 268 was Hunter. This is 269. Been really looking forward to getting this one open to see finally what it's like. And it's a phase two, a much needed update. But have they nailed it? I'd say no. Still not quite. <laughs> oh, God. But the helmet is smaller, definitely. I brought in for this review two figures that are really important, really. This one is still kicking ass. This is still the best. They will never do better than that. And I'm sure they could, I don't know, could have made a, re a removable helmet as good as that. Because. Like or dislike the VC45, people do criticise it for being skinny. That helmet is just bang on, man. And the skinniness, I never had a problem with it because they were always quite sleek. I mean, look at him there. You know, they're not chunky. They're not fat boys, are they? So they were younger clones, whatever. Anyway, they were what they were. But uh, this guy is a great. I like it a lot, actually, but... It's just, I've got, I think I've got an issue on my actual individual, the act, this actual figure, because it's different from even that one there. It's the paint job. It's just a factory problem. In fact, should we discuss that now? Let's have a look at his eyes. Oh, he's just turning his back on us, but still we'll get him to, to rotate. It's a lovely finish, isn't it, of the figure? Look at that. I love it, actually. I like this. You did see them in Andor. As you can see, it's an Andor card, which I liked that crossover. But look at that. See what is going on there? Might have to get a marker pen on that. It's very narrow. I think even if it's if it was correctly ink jetted, it's still too narrow. The eyes lenses need to be wider. Like you see, you got that guy. Love that figure. Even this fella with his huge <laughs> bucket helmet. In fact, I haven't put that helmet on this fella's head for forever. I usually just put it underneath his arm. A tip I learned from flyguy.net. This is one of those Black Series 41st Elite, whatever they're called. That head sculpt is supposed to be Bodie Taylor, but it's not great, is it? So I swapped the head of, of my 332nd Ahsoka, and I put it on the top of this guy here, because this guy's head on my shelf looks like that, and I always display them, like I said, with their helmet underneath their arm so I figured if they're going to not be wearing their helmet they better look down like Tamora Morrison of which this guy does there he is well more like him oh yeah that looks like him really good so just thought I'd let you know that but I can't sadly I can't swap his head with this guy but um he's got a new barbell thing which is good for articulation but uh, anyway that's that just thought to mention that but he looks real clean, man. It's a good figure. I don't like that. What's that stamp doing there? God, that's bad, isn't it? They should be putting that somewhere a bit more discreet. Um, or not at all. Maybe do it in a light grey or something, Hasbro. I mean, why does it have to be there at all? It's ridiculous. <laughs> what, what are they thinking putting that on there? It's madness, isn't it? But I, do you know what? I love this figure. Um, the helmet ain't that bad either, really. I'm going to go and have a look at the one in the bubble so you can see the difference there. Um, but you can tell, I mean, look at him. It is the same trooper. I mean, this figure here looks bang on the one that you got on the card back. It's crazy. Isn't that funny? So there are ways off getting it right with that. <laughs> oh, God. Let's go back to him in a minute. Let's go handheld. Look at this lovely card back. I did like the scene when you saw these fellas going through the streets. I liked it because it could have been Stormtroopers, but the fact that it was Clone Phase 2... Suggested two things that it was a long time ago or a bit well earlier in the earlier in the Empire 
and also the fact that you know clones were still knocking around i wonder what age they were by then that brings me to the bad batch which i am watching again and um it's interesting what the timeline is there because i know that no spoilers <clears throat> camino gets destroyed but um i can't remember there is a definite lore going on in that you know there's an arc for the timeline or lifespan of clones after the you know revenge of the sith and the uh, civil war is over the clone wars i mean but still and these guys are quite sinister but i love that scene the fact that it's still clones knocking around you know and they're not that exactly very pleasant they take any order without question And that poor dude gets caught up in it, caught up in it all, isn't it? Oh, there's Ferrix in the background there. And they can do what they want with this. They could... Ah, I was going to go look at the eye lenses. Repack it to your heart's content. There's already four packs. You got the 300... What were they again? 330 second. Hang on a second. What the hell? I'm losing my bloody marbles. That guy. They've done him. A pack of four. But isn't that amazing, the fact that that passed quality control, this one here, look at that, it's definitely, they've missed the mark, man. Look at that. <laughs> God. I might get a pen in that and see if I can fix it. But this dude is rocking, man, I love it. I like that a lot. I'm just going to drink him in a bit longer, folks. I like that head sculpt. Still pretty cool, man, isn't he? Yeah. I'm liking that. Yeah, it's good, isn't it? Nice to see, finally, a scaled, better scaled, I should say. Phase two. Just also get a load of his articulation. I mean, look at it. That barbell is great. Look at that. And what with the chest crunch. Look at that articulation, that movement. So good, isn't it? Brilliant. Great. Yeah, I'm well impressed with these figures, man. They're great. Look at that. Clones are awesome, aren't they? Not bad. So there you are, ladies and gentlemen. The Clone Trooper, Phase 2 armour, as seen in Andor, also. Revenge of the Sith. But um, let me know your thoughts on it, you know. I think it's, uh, it's funny, it's great, but it's still not there. <laughs> but, you know, it's way better. Way better than we've had in the past. Thank you for watching, ladies and gentlemen. Focus on him. This, oh, come on. Don't let me down. This has been only one Kenobi. Only one. Out.